So the Web3 Foundation uh, stewards the set of technologies that comprises uh, Web3, um, known as the decentralized serverless internet. Um, so any technologies that will allow uh, Web3 users to take better control of their privacy, uh, their data, their own financial accounts, and effectively uh, their freedom online. So effectively Web2 has failed us. Um, the internet is dominated by a small cartel of companies that own 90% of the commute, compute, uh, storage, uh, they uh, control basically 100% of your data and commercialize it as, you see, as they see fit without including you in any of the process. And so um, we see the, the stack of Web3 technologies as a great enabler to redistribute power and wealth on the internet. Uh, and I often say to people who are, are coming to, to interact with Web3, whether it's work or, or otherwise, that there are many companies around the world that propose to sort of change the world or, 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 or do something significant. Uh, this is actually one of the few organizations on the planet that will really move the needle um, for our world and, and create something that will have a lasting impact um, for the betterment of mankind. So Polkadot was chosen as Web3's first uh, major technical undertaking because it is a crucial infrastructure component of the vision of Web3. Uh, in order for us to have this decentralized serverless internet, we need to exit the era of siloed blockchains that don't communicate with one another and allow for uh, you know, arbitrary uh, smart contract messaging across different blockchains. So for the first time, we're going to have, say, uh, an Ethereum smart contract be able to send a, uh, uh, a transaction on the, the Zcash network or um, uh, an Edgeware uh, governance decision have an implication in, say, an Ethereum smart contract, and all of that happens uh, relatively seamlessly through Polkadot. Um, together with that, Polkadot brings a, a really interesting and novel uh, crypto economic model that, uh, that we've never seen before, but uh, will be a tremendous accelerator for, for our space. So we have different constituents that tie into, uh, into Polkadot. Um, parachains need to, uh, you know, need to lease their slots. There's a finite number of slots, uh, and then validators will validate both on on parachain and on on the relay chain. So there's a number of different sort of what I call keepers in the system that maintain this multi-level Nash equilibrium uh, in the system. I think uh, it, again, it's a it's an incredible step forward, and we. Uh, we're very excited to, to see what is created. Um, we now have the ability to, to do much more with blockchains than we have done uh, to date. The Web3 Foundation, uh, in its stewardship of the, the stack of technologies that comprise Web3, uh, undertook Polkadot as the, its first project. Um, so uh, Polkadot is a, a decentralized protocol and uh, Web3 is a, uh, a foundation uh, charged with developing, deploying, and maintaining that protocol. However, Web3 post Polkadot will evolve into other technologies that complement Polkadot and, uh, and you know, steward Gavin Wood's vision for Web3. Well, in the very, very short future, uh, we expect that Ethereum and Polkadot are not only used together, but realize great synergies together. Um, it is my opinion, and, and quite strongly so, that the two protocols have a lot to benefit from, from the existence of one and, uh, and the other. And so, uh, you know, I often give the example of uh, someone being able to uh, call an Ethereum smart contract from uh, another protocol, which is, is, is valuable and interesting, that increases Ethereum's uh, reach uh, and awareness beyond its, uh, its community. Uh, and 
also demonstrates how important Polkadot is as that crucial infrastructure component. Um, I often liken Polkadot to say the airport infrastructure of Web3. If you want to travel to a disparate land, you have to route yourself through an airport. It's the only way to get to, to, to a foreign land. Uh, if you want to travel to a disparate blockchain, you have to route yourself uh, through Polkadot. And, uh, and that's why it's not the only infrastructure component, but it's a very, very important one, and thusly the first one that we chose to focus on.